Green Arrow number 37, uh, Benjamin Percy Oof. and Johnny Faria on the art. This is the uh, second last issue in the run. And it feels like it. Not, yeah. not a bad way. Not like it's wore out as welcome, but you can tell that Percy is ramping down. Yeah, because uh, obviously the, the, the end of the issue sort of leads into the final issue, which is going to be the trial. And, you know, even yeah. as he's going towards the, the courthouse, we hear the, the, the news reporters talking about, you know, the case. And it cuts between all the Justice League, it cuts between all the sort of close family members of Green Arrow that are all kind of reacting mm-hmm. to what's going on. It's like, a, you know, it's a whole big thing. It feels like it's ramping up to this fin- final sort of moment. Yeah, uh, and, and it feels like a... a <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Not a, it's not walled off, exactly. A contained... It, kind of like Bendis' Daredevil was kind of contained. This is what Percy's run of Green Arrow is going to feel like. Because I feel like he's basically going to reset the table at the end of this trial. And whoever's taking over is going to have... Clean slate, you know, yeah. I think yeah, where, where you say it's contained, it is. Because it's it's not like it's locked away from everything else. Because it's still no. interacted with the wider universe. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, 99% of the run, I think, barring the, you know, the one or two issues where it's done tie- tie-ins and crossovers, mm. yeah. you can just you just read, and it still functions entirely on its own. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and I like that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, it's mostly an action issue. It's mostly still there in this, this, this pit, this, this deep cave cellar that they've been fighting in, uh, and, you know, try to get Emmy to rescue because she was shot with the arrow last issue. Uh, Diggle shows up and saves Black Canary at one point, so Diggle's back in the fold, uh, which is kind of what you mean by it's like resetting the table. All, all the characters seem yeah. to be back in play, uh, and the trial's going to be wrapped up, no doubt, at the end of the next issue. Yeah. So that's I, I will say it does with. kind of feel a little bit like, hey, Diggle's just back. Like, it felt like, okay, there was somewhere else in between Ooh. this that we should have had, but we never got. I'll, I'll I be mean, on- we got him with Merlin. But I feel like it was meant for more, and then he's moving on. The funny yeah. thing about Diggle in this run is I feel like you could just cut him out and it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Be- beyond no. the-, the one time he saved Merlin. Like, otherwise, yeah. he could just yeah. not be here, and it'd be fine. Yeah. Pretty much. Percy, Percy did say on Twitter, I want to say it was either last week or earlier this week, he had planned to do a Connor Hawk story. Uh, so I'm wondering if Diggle had anything to do with that, you know, uh, hmm? going forward. And it just kind of got, kind of got backburnered because... I don't know, maybe he got burned out of writing Green Arrow, or maybe he had some other ideas for something else. I don't, but, think, I don't, think, it's yeah. burn, I don't think it's a burned out thing. I think it just comes a time when it's time to leave. You realise that you're coming to the yeah, end of your days. And that, that's what I mean. He, he found a, a logical place to end his story on. Because as, yeah. as he phrased that tweet, though, he said, yeah, almost every writer who's had a long run always had one or two more stories that they were going to do probably at some point, and then for yeah, whatever reason, they just never true. happened. And, and that's right, it's just, I think... Yeah. Not that he got burned out, like you say, but okay, he's like, okay, this is the end. I've got to wrap things up. And yeah. it feels like Diggle is one of the elements where there yeah. was another plan yeah. somewhere that we, yeah. we're just never going to see now. Yeah. And uh, outside of that, I think we got some nice stuff with him. And like him coming in here and, and shooting the arrow out of uh, Merlin's hand, which I think is a nice, like, kind of meta. I like that he just thing. shoots through his hand. Yeah. It's you cool. know, takes out an arrow with a bullet. There's always yeah. something bigger. Uh, it wraps up some other stuff as well, because uh, Kate Spencer comes in and saves Wendy Poole by just stabbing the guy in the head, uh, which is pretty extreme. Uh, I, I, again, that's another thing. I wish... I, I, I don't wish. It would have been cool to hint at her being Manhunter. Mm. Like, not Martian Manhunter. There's a completely separate character, for those that don't know, that Kate Spencer was Manhunter. So the fact that she just disarms this dude and then right through the head... It's certainly it leaving it open for, for if they, if someone wants to actually do that story later on when she becomes Manhunter, they're definitely you setting up. It yeah. Up. yeah, she's capable. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. really didn't like the one liner though. Uh, no, I may be a defense attorney, but I moonlight as a prosecutor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. but cheesy. Again, but cheesy. We talk about Percy does that. He gets super heavy handed, but it's done in a fun way. Mostly, I'm okay with it, but every so often he'll cross the line where I go, ugh, no. Shouldn't have been there, yeah. and that was one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, I mean, this is fairly straightforward. It's mostly just sort of wrapping up the fight and everyone running out as the things fall down. Shadow and Moira Queen seem to fall to their death, although I'm going to yeah. say they haven't. But you know, it seems that way. It has yeah. that moment. If has... Moira Queen shows back up, she better have an arrow burn brand yeah. on her forehead. No, I really love this issue and. You guys assured me that, that Emmy would be okay, and of yeah. course she is. Right? Which is shocking, it's... given that they actually show us the arrow through her heart. <laughs> like, didn't Connor, she fought. I missed. They went, no, no, we're showing it you through the heart, but she's fine, it's good. Hey, she's got that, she's got that superior fighting spirit. She fought a dragon, for God's sakes. So, 
Uh, but no, like, I would have weirdly been okay with, with them killing her off, right? But I'm glad that they didn't, because she's become one of my favorite characters. So... Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think whoever takes the, the obviously we've got a couple of months of villains. We've got a two part villain story, and then presumably the, the new one will hopefully be starting in I think July. That pushes up to April's the last issue. Major, yeah, July. Mm-hmm. Uh, July yeah. theoretically should be the start of the, the new proper run, unless we have another villain, which would be annoying. But yeah, um, I just I just want to criticize Ollie's choice of suit at the end. Don't wear an all green suit. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. I, I'm not Green yeah. Arrow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, a, yeah. Power Rangers, this is Power Rangers rules. You have to wear your colour. Yeah, yeah, all times. Full green yeah. Suit, complete with a green tie. Like, what are, what are you doing? Oh, man. Now, now I want to have, like, a panel of, like, all the Justice League in plain clothes, but they're all wearing the colours. Like, oh, uh... yes. Look, the only <laughs> way I will accept this is if in the courtroom he's, he's coming out as Green Arrow. Yeah, which you might. Maybe that's his big bombshell. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I will accept that. Like, maybe, um,. Like, uh, like whoever the next run, because obviously they've not announced it yet, but maybe they, they know who the next run's going to be by. Maybe like this is something that he's like spoke to them about. It's like, okay, this is how I want oh, to end it, and they, this they is know where I want to leave. Because I know yeah. Matt said he felt like he was, you know, resetting the pieces. Yeah. Alternatively, he's he's mostly going to reset, but then he's gone. But here's your new challenge. You work with this, and that's your yeah. fun well, thing. Well, it's not like they haven't done that before. I mean, no, of they, he's he's unmasked before and been Green Arrow and. I mean, he even was mayor of Star City for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, oh, so so here's a, next run, so. So here's a, this is something that just bugs me with Green Lantern sometimes. So Hal's yeah. watching the news on a Green Lantern construct TV. Yeah, I don't think that's how he, that works. He, he um, it's 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 that's, analog it's based broadcast. Off well. It's analog broadcast, and he's he's picking up the signal. Oh, so yeah. you're telling me Star City's broadcasting TV stations in analog still? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, no one else does behind that anymore. The, behind but... the times. Ah, right, okay. Then again, it is, it, it, he has the most will out of any Green Lantern, so, you know, if he wants to pick up some digital feeds or whatever, <laughs> sure, I don't... Hey, Hal. Yeah. I don't know how those things work. Hal, give us the fight on pay-per-view, come on. Favourite thing about this issue, though, might be Damien showing up to the hospital room. I knew, I yeah. knew you were going to say that. Uh, yes. We willed that to happen. I'm gonna just say that 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 is us collectively wanting yeah. the I Damian like, Emiko. If if Percy's still in Teen Titans after no, because we know that Titans and Teen Titans are somehow kind of I don't know if they're going on break or they're just tying into no justice. Yeah. It's kind of unclear at this point. But I, if, if Percy's still in Teen Titans after, I do hope that he brings in Emmy just because he can. St- I'm still going to rate her because she she's not a Teen Titan. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. That, that said, though, that means they may have to bring in some other characters because other people want to join the Teen Titans and they've been turning them they, down. They, they get first dibs, really, don't they? Yeah. Uh, well, no, she was offered first. She was offered before the other characters. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Emmy's first in line and then Superboy and then Power Girl. Assuming she's not still trapped well, in the, the see, thing. That's a, that's well, a Power Girl was already on the team. was on the team before and it was just Damien being a shit. It was like, nah, I'm having you. All right, sure, but she wants back in, so... I mean, she should probably she should probably get first hey, though, because everyone else was like, I'm, "Hey, she's our teammate." I don't see why we can't have like a massive Teen Titans team, Damien. Like, come on, just let everybody in. No, I, I I'm like all down teams. for that. Like, have a, have no, a team, team, have them all hang out in the tower, and then be like, "Hey, who who have we got around that, today?" Because they said, all have to be there for yeah. every mission. That said, uh, we do know that the team is probably going to be shaken up after No Justice anyway, so there might be people missing that were here just now, there might be, you know, it might not even be Titans and Teen Titans, it might be Young Justice and something, or... Uh, hopefully know. we'll have Cyborg heading one of them. That'd be good. Yeah. So Cyborg, Adult Wally, that'd be cool. So we're sh- we'll shaking it up. Um, also, I want to point out Eddie Fires in that are in the crowd as well, at the, uh, the courthouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheshire, Brick, yeah. yeah, they're all, they're all there. So, uh, and then you have Roy. Looks like he's heading back towards Star City. Uh, mm. Driving towards that big tower. So, no, no Connor, you, you criticize his choice of a suit. Well, what should he be wearing that wouldn't be boring? Uh, I, I don't, there's nothing wrong with boring. Just a typical black, blue suit. You know, just a normal suit. Green screams, hey, look, Green Arrow here. No one wears a what green a, What suit. if it was like a dark olive green suit? That would be better. This is very okay. bright and garish, okay. and it feels yeah, well, yeah. It, it it doesn't feel very slick to to go into this. You know, this no. courtroom. I'm going to wear bright green. Yeah. What a knob. The 
Unless the, he goes in and goes, you can't charge me of anything. I'm rich. That's why I wear a green suit. <laughs> the, the thing I'm going to add it's on to this green. is that exactly. Faraya has said on Twitter that he's not got a project lined up yet. DC, yeah. do not let him go. Put him on no, something. Lock him in. Put him on So I don't care what it is. It. Phenomenal artist that his he has elevated this book. Don't get me wrong; the, the book has had other great artists. Uh, you know, it's always had good art. But yeah, without the art, it really is just pulpy, good fine. It's what it was before uh, the before Rebirth, his New Fifty Two run. I mean, we had werewolves and motorcycle gangs yeah. in here. But know, like even you know, the the very first page where you've got Oliver holding Emmy and you got all in the in the flames or the visions yep. of the the memories. It's like no. no. That is gorgeous, just because of his outline. You know, you you write that page. It's a very standard page. It's hitting all the the beats, right, of what you expect. But it's elevated by the art, and I feel like you know, Friar has has been elevating this book consistently for most of it. Yeah. Um, uh, so hopefully, put him. So him and Schmidt, him and Otto Schmidt, put them on something. Yeah. Uh, Friar, I feel like would be. Huh? He would be good pretty much on any character. I think Flash might be great with him, actually. I'm thinking of the speed and, like, the, the way he does motion. Motion. Yeah. Yeah. He'd yeah. be good on Flash. Not, not that Flash is needing a, a, an artist right now, but still. No, no. I, mean, I know where they've got, uh, obviously, Burn was the other regular fill-in yeah. that we had. He's kind of locked in. He's been floating around. He's done some JLA. He's yeah. done, he's uh, recently done the some of the new Bombshells. Yeah, he, he, was, the, he was the third one, I'd say. Uh, yeah. Schmidt was the other regular, although when it went single ship and he seemed to disappear. Well, that's because Fryer could kind of yeah. just take over full time. But, but just fine. Burn, but yeah. was, Burn was the main fill-in, and then hmm. Schmidt and Fryer yeah. were the main artists. But hey, yeah. So we've not seen Schmidt and anything else recently. So hopefully he pops up as well. But hey, uh, so that was all the issue, uh, final issue of the run next time, next month. So hopefully uh, that that lands for us. I'm almost disappointed they're not celebrating it by giving it a bigger issue or something like that. Just oh, it's the final issue of his run. You know, have a yeah. exercise one or whatever. But yeah. hey ho.